Good Everton viewers, and welcome to week 29 of Slappy Days, the Premier League football show that nobody watches. Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's not Everton, it's Eva Rude. What's Eva Rude when it's at home? Uh, it's a made-up word that covers evening, morning, and afternoon. Right, I see. Oh, uh, and it, it, it's not Slappy Days, it's Slap of the Day. It is? Yes. Okay, so Evil Rune and Slap of the Day. I'll try to remember that for next week's show. Our next game, oh, first game, first game on tonight's show, saw Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool travel to Pep Guardiola's Manchester City when they should have either stayed at home or gone down the pub as the game ended in a 4-1 win for Manchester City. Paul Pye met the managers. Pep, you're eight points behind Laughnell with a game in hand against West Ham that you'll probably win. Uh, uh, the gap would then be five points and you'll then play Laughnell at home at the end of April. Uh, if everything goes according to plan, you will only be two points behind them. And let's face it, their running is at face value significantly harder than yours. So, uh, uh, can you win the 2022-23 to 23 Premier League season and become one of the uh, great managers in Premier League history by doing it three times on the bounce? Sesame Street is brought to you today by the word combo, Morris. <laughs> uh, moving on, flippity flap, it's Jurgen Klopp. Where the hell were you when we beat United 7-0? Why do you only show up when we get battered like a chip shop sausage? Oh uh, yeah, my bad. Had the medical issues to deal with, so um, you lost 4-1 to Man City, huh? What are your thoughts about that game? We were very good in the first half. As it ended, one all. And then? We had to play the second half and City pulled our pants down. Any criticisms for yourself or your players? Normally, I would say that we lack consistency, but uh, I can't say that today. Why ever not? We've been consistently poor all season. One last thing, Jürgen. Hmm. Vieira's been sacked. Conte's been sacked. And if I might let you into a little secret... Rogers and Pater have just been sacked today. But mum's the word, because they don't know yet. Mm. But my question is this. Pater won four from the last 16. And you've only won five from your last 17. So, mm, well, um, how come you still got a job? If you want to sack me, you first have to catch me. And my bosses cannot do that. Why can't they do that? Because as soon as each game finishes, I get to the, the chopper. Yes, of course. Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder saw that one coming. <laughs> Jimmy! In our second game of the week, Fulham travelled to Bournemouth, where Gary O'Neill's boys banged a 2-1 win. Paul Pymer, the managers. Uh, Gary O'Neill, uh, I for one am very impressed with the job that you're doing at Bournemouth. So, uh, I'm going to take the unusual step of getting you drawn up and colourised. Uh, as with 10 games left to play, I genuinely believe that next season you will be a Premier League manager because next season Bournemouth will still be playing football in the Premier League. Oh, thank you very much, Paul Pye. Uh, I don't know what to say, but it, it is a massive boost to hear such positivity from someone like yourself. Uh, you are most welcome, uh, so keep up the good work. Oi, why don't you lot find me a fucking phone number for Jason Statham? Uh, moving on, uh, Marco! Well, I mean, you lost 2-1 to Bournemouth today, Marco. What happened? It's the guy on there, man. He don't flash threads, you know? He's, he took a garage, man. But that's okay, man. I know this guy. I know where he is. I know who he is. And I know what he's going to, man. Uh, you do? Of course, man. It's like... This garage, you know, he's, he's in the bathroom with a few Colombians, mine. And these cockroaches, they got that chainsaw, mine. And O'Neill is inside the bathtub, mine. But, like, 
there's one of his arms is on the floor, man, and one of his legs is like sticking out the toilet, man, and the blood is all over the floors, you know, and he's struggling, and he's fighting, he's fighting for a life, man, so, you know, you have to fight back, you stay alive, you know. That shit went real dark, real quick. Jimmy, this show has changed a lot since I last presented it. Nottingham Forest hosted Wolverhampton Wanderers. The game ended in a one-all draw. I need a bucket to vomit into. Pork pie. Ha, uh, Cooper. One nil, and you fucked it up. What happened? Wolverhampton scored a goal and equalised. Ha, 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 Moving on, uh, Lopatagi, a point well earned in the grand scheme of things. Well, if it moves my club away from the trap zone, it's all good with me. Sounds like a plan. Jimmy, Crystal Palace hosted Leicester City and Palace won the game 2-1. Paul Pye met the managers. Hodgson, so you're back at Palace again to try and avoid doing what you did at Watford last season. That was a terrible situation at Watford. But Crystal Palace, I went a much better place to avoid the drop. Well, I was very impressed with the game as Palace had more shots on target today than they've had all season. What's your secret? Hunting relegation tracks is like hunting rabbit tracks. Make sure everything is where it needs to be and charge your head on towards oblivion. Uh, players in their correct place should be a given. Uh, let's hope you can keep it up for the next ten games. Moving on. Ah, Brenda Doubtfire. Will hell or pork pay? Take her away, boys. Who oh, may? Well, goodbye, pork pay. And good riddance to boot. Jimmy, Arsenal hosted Leeds United and beat them 4-1. Paul Pymet manages... Arse tickle! Still think you're gonna win the league this year, code boy? Look here, I'm getting damn sick of your attitude, Paul Pye. And? And it's just not good enough. I mean, we've spent virtually the entire season at the top of the table, yet you constantly show me little or no respect for the achievements of myself and my club. But that's only because you're not going to win the league this year. And how do you come to that conclusion? Oh, you should have paid attention to what I was speaking to Pep. Uh, you are currently eight points ahead of City, who have a game in hand. So make that a five-point lead. You have to play City, so let's make that a two-point lead. And whereas Newcastle looked like the team most likely to take points off you during the run-in, Liverpool are hunting down a top four finish, and Chelsea are about to start turning things around. So, just give up and congratulate Pep. Ass. Oh no. Ha ha ha. Moving on. Uh, Gracia? Um, is he drawn up? No? Okay. Jimmy! Brighton hosted Brentford. The game ended in a 3 all draw and I can't be bothered. Which takes us to Aston Villa, who travelled to Stamford Bridge, where they beat Chelsea 2-0. Paul Pye met the managers. Uh, whoops. Um, uh, Potter, um, uh, ordinarily, uh, a group of minions would appear and take you off to the abyss. However, uh, I don't think that would be fair under the circumstances. Yeah, what are you talking about, big boy? Uh, Graham Potter, you're about to feel a little prick. Then you'll change inside and no doubt feel significantly better afterwards. Well, is Savaloy, are you about to slip me a roofie, Paul Pie? No, you've been sacked and will now revert back to the person you used to be. Sacked? You're having a laugh, mate. I'm Elliot Ness, me. Bovine believes in me. I'll never get the sack. The sack. 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 Yeah. Am I supposed to have a sack, Paul Pye? Only, I don't remember Del Boy or Grandad giving me a sack when I left home this morning. Ah, oh, fuck it. Take him away, boys. Moving on. Your idol! Average win at the bridge, as let's face it, this current Chelsea 
Ain't really Chelsea, is it? Well, all I can say is that I'm glad we got in before they changed their style and started to remember how to play football, Paul. Bye. Jimmy. West Ham hosted Southampton and kept all three points at home with a 1-0 win. Paul Pye met the managers. Boys. Over the past 28 weeks, a veritable bloodbath has taken place inside the Premier League, which has to date seen no less than a dozen managers bite the dust, which in the past month alone has included Graham Potter, Brendan Rodgers, Patrick Vieira and Antonio Conte. Uh, yet for some reason, you are still in charge of the destruction of my beloved West Ham. It's not that bad. We're out of the drop zone and flying high in Europe, so it's near bother to me, pal. Tupac is dead, Vanilla Ice isn't. The football version. Moving on. Ooh, Peter Sellers. How was your first proper game in charge of Southampton? We lost by one goal, you fool. Uh, oh, yeah, my bad. Uh, Jimmy. Newcastle United hosted Manchester United and kept all three points at St James's Park with an astonishing 2-0 win. Paul Pye met the managers. Eddie, how are the lads? How are you, Mr Pork Pie? Congratulations on your amazing win today. I mean, they're not exactly a pushover, are they? Man United. It's Man United, man. Yes, I'm aware of that. Uh, I saw the game. But uh, uh, any praise for your players there? Uh, I mean, two good goals by Willock and Wilson. Willock, totally good work rate again from him today. Pork pie, very pro. And uh, Wilson? Wilson, ah, oh, hey, fantastic player. Always knows what's going on all the time. Like, even when his game is poor, he's so much better than a lot of other players. Personally, I think getting him off that desert island with Tom Hanks was the best thing Wilson ever done. On another note, Wilson, I now that the dust has settled here, how many days is that, Daniel Bull? <laughs> <clears throat> Who's Daniel Bull? Oh, uh, right then. Uh, well, onwards and upwards. Uh, moving on. Eric won hog. Uh, two nil. And you lost the game. Uh, where's your form gone? Fallen out of bed? Oh, this is not fair, Pork Pie. Newcastle wanted it more, so they ended up getting it. Uh, do you think it was a wise move to pull off two centre backs? Oh, it was the end of the game. We were 2 0 down, so I removed the defenders and, uh, and uh, put on some attacking players. Uh, if Newcastle score more goals, it doesn't really matter. Uh, 2 0 or 5 0, is a, a loss is a loss. Uh, who do you think I am, Antonio Conte? You think I'm going to pull off some attacking players and, and put on more defenders to try and save a ship that's already sunk? Whoa, touched an earth there. Uh, Jimmy! Our final game for this week saw Tottenham Hotspur travel to Toffee Land to face Sean Dyche's Everton. The game ended in a very Spursy one all draw. Paul Pye met the managers. Sean Dyche, you've uh, you've clearly got the Everton players firing on all cylinders. They never gave up the ghost, and you turned a one nil loss into a one all draw. Happy with the results? I'd be up here if you could get Tyson Fury in the recording studio to do my voice properly. I mean, what's the hold up? He's not fighting you sick. I mean, he's not fighting anybody at the moment. So he's got plenty of time on his hands. What's the hold up? He's the lineal heavyweight champion of the world. He's not an easy man to get hold of. And try not to forget that I'm doing all of this crap on my own while holding down an 80 hour a week job driving a cab for fuck's sake. Tell you what. How about you shove a cucumber up my ass to see if I can't shit out a few fancy sandwiches for you during the day? Ha! <laughs> Touched a nerve there. Shut up. Moving on. Uh, Antonio, uh, Gonte. Yeah, uh, what's actually going on with Spurs at the moment? I mean, when you sack the manager, the backroom staff always walk out the door with them. So, uh, how is it that Conte goes and his assistant manager stays on and takes the helm. What sort of crackpipe 
is Daniela Levy sucking on at the moment. This is totally insane. I agree with Teddy Sheringham in that Tim Sherwood should have been appointed till the end of the season, as clearly those Spurs players lack motivation and drive, yet they continue with the mindset that's slowly kicking them out of next year's Champions League spot. And if you want to question the abilities of Tim Sherwood, he got a tune out of Addy Bayor, didn't he? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, 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 Harry Kane. Uh, are you still going to be a Spurs player next season? Uh, ha, uh, um, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, uh, obviously not. <laughs> uh, don't blame you, Jimmy. Well, this episode was fun. If you like train wrecks. Maguire!